What is going on YouTube? This is Red Horse Noggle coming at you with another Call of Duty commentary. Yes, I know. I'm actually talking about COD for once now. I mean, Call of Duty's been dead for a while. You know, Infinite Warfare sucks. Modern Warfare Remaster is doing nothing. And they're just doing random, sh random stuff with the game. And it's just the game's not, you know, not that it's bad, but it's just not enjoyable anymore. But nonetheless, we got official um, confirmation about World War II multiplayer, and we got an official reveal at E3. So E3 was this past week um, at California, of course, it's always there. Um, we got press conferences, we got EA press conference, which is kind of shit. Um, we got the Xbox conference with, with the new Xbox One X. We got the Sony press conference, which they showed a couple games, and, the, and that's where they officially revealed World War II, the actual multiplayer trailer. But when I was actually watching the multiplayer trailer for um, World War II, to me, I didn't think it was a multiplayer trailer because there was no HUD, there was no nothing, nothing hinting toward the multiplayer. It looked more like, <clears throat> pardon me, it looked more like a uh, a single player trailer than a multiplayer trailer. But nonetheless, it was kind of a weird trailer because it looked more like single player, which I th I thought we were just getting a single player trailer and we'd get multiplayer trailer like the next day or something. Even though they said they were, they were going to reveal it at the PlayStation Press conference, I was like, that's it. But anyways, um, they that was a multiplayer trailer, which I still don't believe to this day. But I checked the comparison with the gameplay, and yes, it was multiplayer, but it just did not look like multiplayer to me. But nonetheless, the trailer was one of the weirdest Call of Duty multiplayer reveals I've ever seen. But I don't care. I mean, we got the trailer. The trailer like looked um pretty pretty cool, but um. The question is, how is the game going to play? What does the game look like? How is the game actually going to be good? But, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about some of the new features and news that they gave us um, about World War II multiplayer. So, straight off the bat, they gave us news about the beta. So, they officially confirmed that the beta will start first on PlayStation 4, of course, um, on August 25th. And it's going to be similar to Infinite Warfare, where they had two weekends, or two separate weekends, I should say, where PlayStation and Xbox could have their own um, time to play the game. So first weekend will be be on August 25th to August 28th for PlayStation 4 only, and then September 1st to September 4th, I believe. Or oh, I, I, it's on the screen right now, if um, if you're wondering. But yeah. Uh, September 1st to September 4th for both Xbox and PlayStation, so Xbox will get their own chance to um, take a look at the game. Um, sorry, PC guys. I don't know why they don't do betas on PC anymore. Probably because, you know, I don't think they, I think they forgot about how um, betas work. Betas should be universal in terms of platforms, but I guess they forgot about PC. So, regardless of that, betas come in August 25th, first on PlayStation 4. But enough yabbing about the beta dates. It doesn't even matter when the beta date is. The question is, what are we going to be playing? What are we going to be playing for the beta and then for the future? Well, here's the screenshot of official multiplayer gameplay. Ta-da! Yes, I know. It's it's awful, but it's an awful transition. But anyways, this is officially the um, screenshot of multiplayer gameplay. So this screenshot gives away a lot about... Um, multiplayer and what will be in multiplayer so straight off the bat on the bottom right of your screen um if you see like the little blue circle that confirms that score streaks are coming back if you see the points um i like how they did it with the uh, little blue circle blue circle and stuff i like how they did that um but but something new that we've never seen before also on the bottom right we see attached suppressor so if you miss the multiplayer trailer or part of the multiplayer trailer you see a dude attaching a suppressor to his gun while he's um running and gunning with this smg or he's with the grease gun in the trailer but he also took off the suppressor he attached it so um this confirms that you can attach suppressors and take off your suppressor um while you're in game so that's a, that's pretty interesting and something new that we've never seen before so we have to see how that works out. Maybe like in close quarters combat, you can use a suppressor. But if you're at longer range, then you could take off your suppressor. So you could stay off the mini map and still get some kills. So maybe that will help. I don't know. But we'll just have to see how that works out in multiplayer. Also, if you see on the top right, 
they went really old school with the minimap. The minimap is now just a circle, um, just like how they did it in the old Call of Duties when it took place in like the World Wars. So I like, and it's also normally in campaign in like the old school Call of Duties too, but they literally just copied the compass or yeah, because normally they use a compass as like a map or like a direction in which you're supposed to go, but they literally took the idea of the compass and literally just put a map on it. And then that's your mini map, which I really like because it brings a little old school vibe to uh, Call of Duty and to me too, because I used to play um, some of the old Call of Duty campaigns. Um, and it really like brings back some memories. So, uh, especially like the old Call of Duties, like um, Call of Duty 3, I remember playing for a bit. Um, it's it, it was kind of fun because you know I was a little bit younger, and uh, it was fun at the time. So, it, it brings back some memories, and I like it the way they did that. But anyways i saw a bunch of multiplayer gameplay you know surfacing all over youtube you know from the big youtubers ali at martin chaos x silencer drifter all those guys i've seen a lot of gameplay um they, they especially showed off the war mode gameplay which war mode looks interesting because it, it it seems like a good competitive um uh, or objective game mode and it looks it looked like a lot of fun just um judging for the gameplay but then again there's always those types of people who don't like to play the objective because it's call of duty people are lazy so um hopefully war mode will be enjoyable in the beta because um i i want to try out war mode for real instead of just having people in lobbies doing nothing and speaking of war mode um basically war mode is like a series of objectives where you have to um you know, build a bridge, escort a tank, stuff like that. There's more objectives. I'm just t saying it from the top of my head. Um, there's um, the deliver the tank, um, build the bridge, destroy ammo supply, and there's two rounds of it, I believe. Yeah, there's two rounds, and it's pretty interesting. I'm hoping to see, uh, you know, how it actually plays out in the beta. But overall, the multiplayer doesn't look that bad to me. I'm hoping the game plays well, but the game actually looked pretty good just judging from the multiplayer didn't seem too chaotic or anything but hope um, at least i can say it, it looks better than infinite warfare that's all i'll say but also um we got some more news about headquarters um headquarters is um basically the social space features sort of the tower from destiny um they said it'll support 48 players they'll have a 1v1 um um, arena which I, I mean I, i'll try out but i'm not gonna play it on a daily basis only for like snipers and stuff which is like one v one trick shot me bitch and it's just like uh, i'm just not even gonna bother but there'll probably be you know little kids and there's the social space is gonna be um great especially for the funny youtubers or the comedic youtubers because they could just record um uh, reactions and stuff so social space seems interesting but um uh yeah that that seems about it um overall i'm ho i'm hoping the game the, the game is pretty good um the beta i'm hoping is pretty good too hopefully the beta actually impresses me because infinite warfare's beta did not really impress me um it's too chaotic and stuff but world war 2 looks promising and hopefully it'll deliver anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below your thoughts on world war 2 multiplayer reveal um i will be getting beta codes of course but if i have any beta codes left um i might give some away on the day of the beta which is august 25th i'll probably live stream if i have any beta codes left then i'll just give those away um make sure to look out for my money in the bank review tomorrow um money in the bank tomorrow night um don't know what's gonna happen but well just make sure you look out for my review um right after the show so make sure to look out for that and um yeah hopefully i'll see you guys later spread horse noggle peace out guys